Hello my dear kids. How are you? Hope you all are keeping fine. And welcome back to our channel e-learning for kids. So today we are going to learn about the parts of a plant and their functions. Are you ready? Let's start. Kids, do you know from where do we get these fruits and vegetables? Yes, it is from different plants. Plants provide us food in the form of fruits, vegetables, cereals, grains and seeds. So, kids, plants are also living things and they also grow like us. They need air, water, sunlight and soil to grow. Now let's learn about the parts of a plant and their functions one by one. Kids, do you know all plants have two basic parts? That are shoot system and root system. Now let's learn about the shoot system and root system. The upper part of a plant is called shoot system. And the lower part which is inside the soil is called root system. The main functions of roots are Roots anchor the plant in the soil which means that roots fix the plant into the soil. Second function is root also help to bind the soil particles together that prevents the soil from being washed away with rain or storms. Third function is roots absorb water and nutrients from the soil to the plant. And some roots also store food in them like carrot, radish, turnip, etc. and that are the tap roots that we eat. Kids, do you know how many kinds of roots? Yes, there are mainly two kinds of roots, tap root and fibrous root. Now first we are going to study about tap root. A tap root is a single branch, long, thick and pointed towards the ground. Examples are carrot, radish, beetroot, mango, rose and hibiscus are the plants that are tap root. Next is fibrous root. Fibrous root is scattered inside the ground with many thin branches. Examples are onion, wheat, rice, maize, marigold and coconut are the plants that are fibrous root. Now let's learn about the different parts and functions of shoot system. Shoot system consists of stem, leaves, flowers, bud, fruits and seeds. So first we are going to study about stem. The stem is the main part of the plant. It is seen above the ground. It is strong enough to hold the weight of the leaves, flowers and fruits. Stem distributes water and nutrients absorbed by the roots to other parts of the plant like leaves, flowers and fruits. Branches are also developing from the stems 
for the bigger plant. Stem also supports the plant to stand straight. Next, we are going to study about leaves. The leaf is the one of the most important part of a plant. Kids, tell me who prepares the food for the plant? Yes, it is leaves. Leaves prepare food for the plant by the help of sunlight, water and air. Leaves are also called the food factory of plants because it prepares food for the whole plant. Next it is flowers. Flowers are the most beautiful and attractive part of a plant. It is also called the bloom of a plant. Flowers are in different colors, shapes and smells. They are the reproductive part of a plant. Now let's look about bird. A bird is a small pointed lump that appears on a plant and develops into a leaf or flower. Next, it is fruits. Kids, I hope you all have tried some fruit and most of you have some favorite fruit too. Fruits are actually grown from a flower. So, flowers develops into fruits. Fruits are also in different shapes, sizes, colors, and tastes. Now the last part of a plant we are going to study about seeds. Kids, have you ever noticed any seeds inside the fruits? Yes, inside the seeds there will be a baby plant. So when we put these seeds into the soil, baby plants come out from this. So, kids, seeds are very important to the plants that produce them because they are primary means by which plants reproduce. Seeds are spread by many different means. One is through wind. Another is by being ingested and then excreted by animals. And a third way is by being planted by humans. So kids, it's a time to recall the parts of a plant and their functions we have learned. Are you ready? Let's start. The first question is, look at the picture below and identify the parts of a plant. Yeah, this is flower, this is leaf, this is fruit, this is stem and this part is roots. Next question is which part of the plant makes food? Yes, it is leaves. Next is, which part of the plant is beautiful, colorful and attractive? Yes, it is flower. Flower looks beautiful, colorful and attractive. Next question is, which part of the plant is above the soil? Yes, 
Yes, it is suit. Next is which part of the plant is the beginning of plant's life cycle? Yeah, it is seeds. Next question is which part of the plant takes water and nutrients from the soil? Yes, it is roots. Last question is which part of the plant keep the plant in upright position? Yes, it is stem. So kids, I hope you enjoyed this video and learn about the parts of a plant and their functions. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to my channel for more such learning videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.